Hello. Hello. All right. Beautiful, beautiful face. What's up, Table Noob and Jabasuko? So Bailey was talking to me earlier and was yakking about starting early and doing other things, and I got to thinking, you know, I do have a bunch of models I can be assembling. So. Nice to have you back, Bob. <laughs> uh, Blunden, I started early. Um, I'm going to uh, kind of just assemble some models and, and uh, goof off for a little bit before we start. I mean, my stream doesn't start for over two hours, my normal uh, Tuesday thing. So um, I think we're going to try and get my uh, some more of my Primaris or Dark Imperium stuff assembled. We'll see if I can get that done. I doubt it because I assemble slow as shit, but uh, we'll see if I can get that finished. Work faster. Yeah. I was talking to Bailey about that too. I paint real freaking slow. No, oh, nice, man. Uh, I don't know when I'll be able to um, pick up Shade Spire. Um, I'm actually um, actually probably going to be selling off some of my mini stuff just to, to compensate for uh, hobby expenditures and finances and whatnot. So um, if uh, I got to talk to Austin uh, about the um, uh, promo stuff, the coupon code, uh, when he explained it to me, he basically said um, everyone who uses it gets 10% off and he's going to donate 10% of the proceeds to the channel. What I'm probably going to do is talk to him and see, um, you know, what what I may have earned, so to speak, and might use um, that when the when it hits a certain amount uh, to pick up models and stuff. That'll be good for the stream. So um, that may be a little bit slower, but uh, that may be the best way to do it. Is like kind of earn money from the stream to get models that I'll use on the stream, if, if that makes sense. So we'll see. Uh, what's up, Sith? And what's up, Stoner Moses? Uh, and, and it's funny that uh, you said you get to watch the full stream today because we're starting early. Um, I'm not going to be working on the models early. I'm going to work on some of my own stuff. Um, but as a quick preview for tonight, uh, let me switch over real fast. Uh, tonight, these will be the models we're going to work on. Um, holiday inspired, so... This one's going to be like a little nurgling eating a um, Mortarian today. Uh, no, no Mortarian today. Um, it's one of these uh, Christmas ornaments from Cyborg's Minis. I'm not sure if they make it anymore. Um, this particular one's been sitting on my shelf for quite a long time, and I wasn't sure what to do with it. Like, way before I even knew what Twitch was. Uh, this has been sitting on my shelf probably since 2011. It's been there for a long, long time. Um... So anyway, the thing about painting him, we'll uh, paint up this orb, and uh, since it's the first week of December, I can do this, give it away to one of you guys in the stream, and then um, you'll have it, you know, and still have, you know, a couple of weeks left for uh, the holidays, and you want to put it on your Christmas tree and, you know, agitate your mom or your grandma, your girlfriend, your wife, whatever, I mean, you now have a mini being, or a, uh, ornament being eaten by a demon as a mini um, and then the other model and I don't think I'll have problems finishing these both tonight in the one stream but the other model is this little guy that they also sent as a promo that year um, I think it was supposed to be an air quotes elf not really um, but he is really short so we'll probably paint him up with red robes and maybe like a white or cream hood and sleeves and um, kind of make him look like an elf but <laughs> it's not he's got his little staff and a little skull thing and the skull thing on the staff so but whatever, holiday inspired, and uh, give those away tonight. So that's what we're doing. Nothing 40k related, but it's from a, a third party uh, miniatures company, and I think they're cool. I really dig this guy. I think he's really cute. <laughs> hey, hey, Blunden, I assemble stuff for the stream faster than I assemble my own stuff. Um, we're probably going to get. Uh, get Mortarian uh, assembled. I've got plenty of time. It's beginning of December, but sometime in the upcoming weeks, and I'll probably work on them on stream. So, we'll see. 
Yes. <laughs> giveaway in June. <laughs> and I'm going to try and um, meet up with Austin, Death Ray Designs Austin, uh, probably first week of January. And see if he'll help me with some... Uh, cleaning process on the uh, the Titan uh, some of the like these little resin sprue blocks are easy enough to to snip out because I've got snips but some of the resin chunks on the night are a bit big and he's got power tools and I won't have to saw off that stuff by hand so we'll get that done I'll clean it and then uh, I'll assemble it on stream so power tools dude I got a chainsaw out back you can use well I mean we could do that no, hey, it may not end well for the model, but you will certainly cut off whatever you need to get cut off. This is true. Let's see, Austin's got baby chainsaws. So, but yeah, I'm excited about the night. I'm excited about Morty as well, but um, I've painted enough Death Guard stuff this year. Uh, I'll be excited to transition into something else. Um, let's do these guys. Um... And I believe, I think Nathan was talking about donating another model. If he does donate uh, the model, I believe it's the old Typhus. It is fine cast, but it's the old version of Typhus. And, uh, Which is and, the one you uh, like. It is the one I like. Um, if he does indeed donate that, I might. Oh, we'll see. It's going to be tough, but I might see if I can squeeze that in on Death Guard Day. Because how awesome would it be to give away uh, Mortarian and Typhus in the same stream, considering Mortarian was the uh, Primarch and Typhus, I believe, was his... Uh, what it's like lieutenant or like right hand man or basically so that'd be kind of cool to have those on the same day uh but that's really going to depend on if i can uh, if i think i'm going to be able to finish both because typhus is going to be uh already daunting enough or not typhus uh, mortarian excuse me be daunting enough but we'll see it could be kind of cool um joe in a couple of hours, when I get to the tutorial part, we're going to work on these. These are not 40K related tonight. Um, these are from Cyborg's Minis. And uh, these are going to be uh, like a holiday giveaway. This guy on my left hand will look kind of like an elf, sort of, I guess, with his robes. Santa's little demented elf that kills kills the bad people, I guess. And then uh, this little ornament, which I think is cute. And uh, we'll paint it up and make this look like a fleshling, nerdly thing. And then uh, he's been eating a Christmas bulb. I'm not set on the color of the bulb yet. I'm thinking red because, I mean, red's pretty popular. Or I could do green, but we'll see. Maybe I'll ask the stream, see what they think. <laughs> it might lose a hand. I think the legal department's not happy with your choice of chainsaw, Bob. It will be nice to get my uh, Dark Imperium built, but eh, painting is going to be a different story. And I was looking on the uh, the Games Workshop. Why are my overlays not? Hang on, guys. Give me a second. Stream might crash for a second here. What is going on here? Please, finger cross, it does not crash. Oh, well, that didn't crash it. Uh... Well, cool. No crash, but at least my stuff pops up now. Jesus. Anyway, um, I was looking at the Dark Angels um, page on Games Workshop and their listed units, and they have the Fallen listed under the Dark Angels units, which seems odd to me. Um, now, they have the Veterans, and then they have the Fallen, which they just photoshopped the green to black. Um, I overlaid the images and confirmed that it's the exact same paint job with photoshopped uh, colors out but yeah whatever um, it's the fact that when you sort their stuff by Dark Angel specific that's listed and I was just like huh I doubt they're gonna have anything in the book I really doubt it but I'm still stoked because uh, I want to start another narrative um, focused army and try and get battle reports um, as a mainstay on the stream and the channel so um, that is what I'm kind of gravitating towards and focusing on. I've got my Ultramarines and I can get those painted up, but with the Fallen uh, slash Dark Angel stuff, I can play those as good or bad depending on what narrative we want to go with. 
and I think that's kind of cool, which will give me options, whereas the, the Ultramarines are generally just going to be, you know, good. And I'd rather not be doing a battle report with, like, Ultramarines versus Blood Angels. Like, that doesn't make much sense. So. But we'll see. That's going to be a real slow process. Um, if I could sell off my Trolls and my X-Wing stuff, then um, I'll probably be allocating some of those funds to building a small, very small amount to the Dark Angels. We'll, we'll see how slow that starts. But it's not going to be a very, very quick progression by any means. So anyway, I got my little updates out. Uh, you guys working on any models today? Any any hobby stuff going on? While you're responding, I'll ramble a little bit. Uh, next week, we'll probably do, for the Tutorial Tuesday, either from the Horse Heresy stuff, either Airman or the Space Wolf guy. I know I've done plenty of Space Wolves lately and plenty of Marines, but that's what I've got in my coffers to paint. Uh, Tim does have a Rune Priest at the shop. He does, but I've already got the Space Wolf uh, Captain here from Horse Heresy in my collection. I'd rather not buy another Space Wolf if I can help it. Uh, though Javasuko would be down for me to buy more Space Wolves. So you can win them. Look at him. See, dot, dot, dot. Javasuko says dot, dot, dot. Yeah, I'm watching a uh, Star Citizen stream while I listen to you. Hang on, Java. Yeah, Java. This one. This one right here, sir. I don't know if you've got the Horse Heresy box, but this is who is up on the uh, potential painting uh, block here soon. So, and I'll probably do him um, in the color scheme that you're actually uh, looking, uh, or, or excuse me, the color scheme you are booking me to do, or have booked me to do, is probably what we'll paint him as. So this would be a really cool one for you to win. Yep. Uh, Sith, my Smurfs is my main army, but I need, I need like I sold my Tau, and I can, uh, my thought process is I can start Dark Angels and move at a slow pace and do low point battle reports and get the community involved if they want to support it and um you know for example i was talking to bailey earlier if bailey wanted to donate something um and this is not don't get hopefully don't get it uh, twisted in some way i'm not looking for just straight handouts it's just more or less if people want to contribute and see the narrative grow on screen and be a part of it then cool but anyway i was talking to him and i was like hey you know for example if he donated x model that he would like to see in the army for the fallen um you know, there you go. Name it. Just don't think of a stupid name. You know, not we're not putting pussy pushy pound the pussy pounder is the name of the sergeant. But it'd be kind of cool if you uh, contribute models. I paint them up, get them ready to go, and then if I use them during a match or a battle report or whatever, um, I'll I'll use the name that you gave that model when I refer to them. I'll be like sergeant. You know, such such and such did this or chapter master or captain whatever. And I think that's kind of cool. You know, so. We'll see. If it doesn't go well then uh, or grow, then I'll I'll reassess and adapt, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see how I can uh, can make it work because I'm going to do it regardless. You know, it's not like the the thing's not going to exist if I don't get support. Just the supports if people want to actually, uh, you know, feel like they have uh, been a part of the rising, the resurgence of the fallen, so to speak. Um, and for oh, I forget who the. Um, uh, Thousand Sons guy was. I'm sorry. I know you're on the Discord page, but this is the guy we've got that you'll be interested in. So, we've got Sir Edelman here. Edelman. Yep. This little finger's kind of funky, but yeah. Ooh, and he's got a little duty stands on a little, a little dead guy. <laughs> you know, um, Javasuko. This is Airman. I might have to paint this dead guy like a Space Wolf dude. 
I mean, you guys did, you know, burn down their um, pyramids and such. <laughs> so we got that. Um, I've still got a couple of other uh, pre-heresy captains and uh, stuff like that laying there, but hopefully here in the short f near future we'll uh, we'll have a towel model on here. That's my goal. And I'm also looking to maybe branch out and do some non 40k painting like today. Um, some of you guys will be interested, some of you won't. Um, but I want to be well rounded, so we'll see. We're also making uh, pretty good progress towards the the camera upgrade. We've got uh, about 20% of the way towards it. So once that happens, motivation towards doing the uh, battle ports will really go up because we'll have the at least the proper camera part. Uh, I'll still have to rely on bugging Austin a bit because of painted terrain and space and all that, but, you know, baby steps, baby steps. A year from now, I'd love to see the channel a really good place for both filming and streaming. I'd like to bring in some more uh, people into the, the team or the family. It'd be really cool to have uh, some of the people from the garrison that, uh, are getting involved and not just like filming with me but like if they want to do battle reports and I edit them can feature them on the page and then I'll just be helping facilitate that kind of like mini war gaming but not exactly you know and I think that'd be cool especially if it's uh, local guys who are also wanting to uh, learn to paint and progress and you know I can help them learn to paint things and you'll see it on camera you know, as they participate in battle reports and stuff you'll be able to see their their models grow and come to life as they progress and get more confident so we'll see how that goes <laughs> them and the girly man. I think you mean the them and uh, Lionel. I'm pretty sure they had a much bigger dispute with him. Also, update for real life stuff. I've been really trying to... Um, cut back on energy drinks. I have not had an energy drink since last Thursday and it sounds like I'm a damn smoker. It's like, eh, I'm trying to quit smoking. Well, sort of. You know, A, it saves money and B, it's probably healthy. Now, caveat is I am drinking soda still, but can't cut all the caffeine out. Once I get the energy drinks out, probably try and tone down the soda and maybe just like coffee. So it'll be a little bit better than all the sugary bullshit, though I drink sugary coffee too, so. You should stop drinking soda and start drinking coffee. Yeah, well see, here's my problem with coffee, Bob. A, I love coffee. B, eh, sit down people, don't freak out. Coffee makes me have to poop. <laughs> That's why so, you drink the coffee. Yeah, but it's like, I drink it and I'm like, this is really good, and then I'm in public with Amanda at like Harris Teeter, and then 10 minutes later I'm like, oh god, mistakes were made. That's when you tell her, honey, I have to go to the bathroom. I will be back later. Gotta go to the little, gotta go to the party. You know what I should do? It's a good idea I have to front the money. With Star Wars coming out, I should pick up a Star Wars miniature and paint. Pretty sure Kabuki's got some. And night miniatures used to make them. I might be able to find some on eBay. That'd be really cool to paint up right before the Star Wars launch.
Well, Java, that's good. I feel like dropping cigarettes is probably one of the hardest things anyone will ever do. Now, did you quit smoking completely or did you pick up uh, vaping? Because my, uh, my fiance's mom was a lifelong smoker, smoked probably at least a pack a day, and um, nearly chain smoking. And she picked up a vape and she hasn't touched a cigarette in like three weeks now. Like, it, it made a huge difference. And she she didn't think it was going to be all that big of a deal, and she did it. And, and I've noticed now, yeah, hopefully her mind doesn't tune in, but. I've noticed her appetite's gone up, which is nice. Um, she seems to be coughing a lot less, so. Did you say her appetite's gone up and she's nice, or it is nice? Is nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, would, I wouldn't have been like, and she's nice, now that she's not smoking and she's vaping. You, you know, that, nice. that's what I heard when you were saying, I'm, I'm like, did he just say she wasn't nice before in a public forum where his better half may or may not look into it later? <laughs> no, I would never do that. Bob, you know me. I'm more tactful than that. But <laughs> um. Okay, well, usually more tactful than that. Okay, not tactful. Tactical. I'm more, I'm more tactful. tactful than that. Tactful. I'm a, I'm a tactful. I'm a tentacool. I'm a Pokemon. Well, Java, if you ever did get into vaping, then you can say yo dog and blow fat doomsdays as uh, Fallback calls it on stream. Dropping fat doomsdays. What's up, Peaceaw? You guys get to hang out with me while I assemble models. So now the, uh, hey, hey. Well, Java, that's good, man. Uh, it's healthy for you, and it, it's going to save you a shitload of money, especially with the hobby that you're in. Not buying cigarettes is going to equate to a lot more paint and a lot more models, man. I was about to say, if you stop buying cigarettes, you can you can buy a lot more models. So, Bob, what all did you pick up for the uh, Eldar? Uh, the starter box for Craft World. Um, hang on, Kelly. Now, I know he said, hang on, killing, but it almost sounded like he said, hang on, Kelly. And I was like, I ain't no Kelly. Uh, the Craft War box, the uh, Bone Seer or Bone Singer or whatever the limited edition model oh, came yeah. in. Um, and then I picked up, uh, Prince Yariel. Yep, I checked him out. Um, I didn't remember exactly what it looked like until I looked at him. I, I do like that model. He's cool looking. They're fine cast, though. It's, it's like you buy a sprue. Yeah. I mean, the sprue has sprue. What's up, Lucid Soup? Sorry for the shake, guys. And then I picked up the uh, No Quarter Prime 2. Not the first one, that still hasn't come in yet. Huh. First one's the one with the model, isn't it? Yeah, I'm starting to think we're not going to see that one. Yeah, I was going to buy it too, but yeah. I think you are correct. Hey, uh, Java. Alright, see so you when you get back, Lucid. Java, what's your what's your current rank in the, the 
the stream here. I know you got like 150 something hours clocked. He's talking about the uh, No Quarter Prime magazine. Uh, it was the reboot for No Quarter. I think from uh, Privateer it, um, Press. Yeah, I think they went from doing it, what, monthly or every two months to, what, four times a year now or something? Uh, basically. It was every other month, and now I don't think it's going to be quite that regular. It might might be. Yeah, so the one we were going to get was the reboot of it. The, you know, whatever now. No Quarter Prime. And, uh... Yeah, the, the first month came with a, a pewter miniature that had rules in the game, and me and Bob both wanted it because our armies could use it. We were both going to buy it, and shop hasn't been able to procure the magazine. Well, even the bigger distributors of games sold out. They had to do a reprint, and then they sold out again. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, I, I think the issue became everybody wanted that model, so it got a lot more uh, buys than they thought it would. Well, yeah, the model looked good, and it was useful in the game. That's, like, <laughs> they put out a bottle people were definitely going to want, that's for sure. I mean, and at the price of the magazine, which is not expensive, you get the free model. Yeah, it was it's a really good deal, for sure. And, uh, Clan Wolf, I thought you'd appreciate that rank, man. You've been, uh, I think, very uh, supportive in chat and very active, and that's... Uh, that's what I'm definitely excited to see in the, the stream growth. So I figure, you know, give you something that uh, sounds cool and also shows my appreciation for a fellow MechWarrior fan, Battletech. I would play MechWarrior. Yeah, they have they don't sell that box set anymore. We're waiting on a reprint. Um, I posted on their page and uh, Chris, I think his name is, the guy from... Um, the game theory or wherever we played at the guy that runs the Chris Olson or mm -hmm. Olson, how was his name um, he commented because he follows the page and he's all offered to come down to Asheboro and show do a demo of the game um, the uh, alpha strike rules are uh, you know it's apparently much faster and speedier and not quite as like over the top keeping track of every little segment of your mech that gets blowed up it's uh, more of a large scale game versus micromanaged small scale with the mechs uh, Peasaw and Ukla the Mock, if I said your name right. I am currently streaming a little bit earlier today. Uh, after talking with Bailey uh, Large, or W Large, one of my moderators, um, he suggested maybe I pop in early from time to time and work on some personal models, and I was like, grumble, 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 maybe. And then I got to thinking, you know, I don't want to sit here and twiddle my thumbs and drink Dr. Pepper and play video games while I wait to stream. I actually kind of want to build some models. So... Mm. Not that we at Amp Services think there's anything wrong with drinking a good Dr. Pepper. Yeah, because Dr. Pepper is good. I love my Dr. Pepper. But anyway, um, I got to thinking, I was like, you know, I don't know when I have time to paint them, but I do have my Dark Imperium, and I have a couple models left to build, so I could pop in, get that, have some motivation since I'll have some people to talk to while I do it, and see about, you know, working on it. So, that's where we are. I'm working on, I think they're called the Hellblasters. The uh, plasma guys working on a couple of those, cleaning them up, and then after that we'll be working on our tutorial Tuesday holiday special, as I call it. Not super duper crazy, but we're going to be painting up uh, this little guy that's an ornament from Cyborg's Minis. I'm not sure if they even produce it anymore, uh, this particular model, but I got it way back when when I first started 40K when I bought some custom HQs from them, and uh, they sent it as a holiday promo with this little elf thing. And I figure, you know what, it's been on my shelf for a while, this would be something different than 40k I can paint, and people could put at least one of them on their Christmas tree if they want to, so, um, that'd be kind of cool. You know, and I like to troll my mom, so, I'll put, like, Space Marines, and she's got, like, the this little, um, what you call, like, a little Christmas village thing across part of the house with all these buildings on, like, crap. <clears throat> it's and, called and, a nativity um, scene. No, no, nativity scene is like Jesus and the wise men and all that. This is like an actual like city with buildings and snow and people standing outside and kids like rolling down the, you know, on their little sleds. So what I like to do is put like space marines and stuff like that, like shooting all the citizens, which is really bad. 
But she comes in and she's like, what the fuck is all this? And there's like space marines across her, you know, little like holiday city scenes. And uh, then last year, that was like two years ago I did that. Last year, um, on top of like, it might have been the, um, the firehouse building she's got in her little, you know, Christmas village. And I stuck the Millennium Falcon from X-Wing and it was landing on top. And she walks in and she's just like, what, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> That's what I do. Um... A few years ago, uh, in her nativity scene, I swapped out one of the wise men for Obi-Wan Kenobi. And it's a little Obi-Wan Kenobi mini. And uh, he's a standard with his lightsaber. And I don't think she noticed until she went to clean up all the Christmas stuff in January. And <laughs> there's a little baby Jesus. And then there's Obi-Wan Kenobi just standing next to him. It was really funny. You know, I was going to so, ask, did she notice the difference? Because with all the memes of Obi-Wan Kenobi being, quote, Jesus Christ superstar and all that stuff. <laughs> Um, I, I, I think she noticed, um, but she didn't notice until it was, like, too late. Um, and then, here's a fun fact. Now, this is not as funny, but it's trolly. Uh, when I, if you ever see him in, um, chat, his name's Metagetics. Uh, used to be a really, really close friend of mine. It's, his name's John. You'll, you'll hear him occasionally in Discord when he's free. Um, he used to hang out all the time, and, uh, one year for Christmas when he was here, uh, my mom had two nativity scenes. She's got like the wooden one with the wooden building and then like the porcelain dolls or whatever the hell they're made out of inside there. And then she had this one that was like a little small one on a mirror disc and then like all the nativity people and Jesus baby were crystal. Well, he wanted to troll her and he hid baby Jesus. Well, he forgot to tell us where he hid it and then I didn't see him for a while and I didn't know where he put it and I didn't even realize he hid it that's how like you know discreet he was about this and we thought like maybe the cats somehow took off the of baby Jesus it was really stupid right so years go by years go by and we never find baby Jesus and then my mom literally throws away the nativity scene because it's not a nativity scene without baby Jesus in there I mean that's the way it is and um then like a year later she's cleaning off one of these we have these really really tall shelves that have like storage on the top because you can't see them there's boxes up there she's cleaning up and getting something down and there's fucking little baby jesus and she was not happy she was she was pissed off <laughs> but that was the long con and unfortunately she chucked the nativity scene because that was gone so if you ever see him in chat ask him about baby jesus he'll know Yeah, I love trolling, like, in a good way. Not like mean trolling, most just trolling, just like, joking around. It's, it's funny. Which, speaking of, I should go put stuff in her little city thing tonight. I should, like, put, like, maybe some Space Marine tanks in there. It's like a tank rolling out of the fire department. She's like, what's up? Like, there's a riot in your city, Mom. I gotta go quell the uprising. Space Marines are here. This Imperial City has not paid its taxes. Space Marines have been dispatched. <sighs> Unfortunately, I can't do much trolling on the Christmas tree because we put up a very small one this year. Not put up the main tree. Anybody post it in Discord? We get any we get any posts in here? Come on. Thank you.
spot where that mold line was was not very opportunistic at all. Snap together, it can't be. It can't be a perfect. Uh-oh, Core Hollius is here. What up, Core? How you doing, man? get there man and I, I try and do like uh, cool little uh, custom ranks for people who um, have done things crazy in chat too so you never know you never know <laughs> this is soup sign to the rank of peasant But yeah, you get uh, your rank goes up um, for hanging out in chat and your time invested and all that. So and we've got some big ones. It'll be a while. It will be a while. But we've I've got some that on the high end for time invested like. You know, there's one that's really cool if you're 40k, like, you can get the rank of Warmaster, but you gotta hang out in the chat a long time. But it is there. And then there's, like, Adeptus, um, Custodes, then I've got, like, the Emperor's right hand, or the Emperor's something. I should make one the Emperor's champion, that would be cool. <laughs> the seed shop is sold. I have no idea what my music player is playing right now. Does it make more sense if I was painting Celestine again or an Inquisitor? Hey, what's up, Token Princess? Yeah, today's going to be a little different. Um, 
my tutorial days have kind of evolved into something where I kind of paint and people just ask questions um, and that's fine um, everything in the channel is adaptable so you may uh, you may learn something may not hopefully you do but as always you are welcome to ask questions during the stream and I will do my best to try and explain things or answer them or provide assistance it's what I do think of me kind of like a substitute teacher when the teacher's not around I don't want to call myself a teacher because I feel like that's pretentious <laughs> I'll be the substitute you get to watch movies today in class and you may have questions and I might be able to answer them This is the soundtrack for my peasant siege. <laughs> oh, Lucid, I'm glad you found it too, buddy. I enjoy having people to hang out with. It's nice. I have more uh, more friends on the internet than I do real life, which sounds really pathetic. I don't mean that to be pathetic, but it is interesting that you can find quality, fun people to hang out with who actually care. And I appreciate it, and I like it. Alright, so, uh, Token Princess, um, give me just a second and I'll show you what we're working on. We will be working on, uh, this evening in a, a couple of hours. So, um, I'm gonna try and paint this little bro, little tiny bro, the weird as a man, so weird as a leprechaun. Um, but I got this a few years ago from Cyborg's Minis with the order I placed. They sent some promos out for Christmas, um. And I think this was supposed to be their jolly little elf guy. It looks more like a jolly little dwarf or hobbit. And he ain't so jolly. I mean, he's got long toes, which has nothing to do with being jolly, but long toes. He has a little skull on his base and this weird, like, skull bone or um, wooden staff thing. Um, so, he's not super holiday-ish, but we're going to try to paint him up. Um, and then we've got this little uh, nurgling or demon thing uh, eating the... Um, Christmas orb or or uh, Christmas bulb or, or ornament. Um, and we'll paint that up. So gonna be a little bit different than my normal, um, but somebody will get to win these, and it's early enough in December that they'll have them in hand, most likely, unless they're overseas or something. They'll have these in hand before um, uh, you know the holidays are over, so they can put it on the tree or troll your family, you know, put it on something. And I think that's funny. But we're on early today, so I can get some personal hobby time in. Uh, Cyborg's Miniatures. S-C-I-B-O-R-S. -S, Cyborg's Miniatures. If you've never heard of them, buddy, uh, actually, you know what? Let me get a link. It's worth sharing. Their stuff's fucking awesome. I don't know if they ever offered them for general purpose, um, so you may or may not find them. Um, I don't even know if they still give them out as promos for holidays or if they give out new ones. I'm not sure, but that is where I got it. It came with, um, I uh, forget which one it was. They have some guys that look like, they have guys that look like Black Templar, Space Wolves, whatever. Um, this one was, I think, a Templar that I had ordered, uh, or Countess Templar, and, uh, they sent him with that. Now, I'm thinking about picking up a couple of dudes to uh, flesh out my Dark Angels um, army ideas because these look really cool. And they might, they would, I think they would work good as uh, Fallen if I, I paint them with the black scheme and stuff. But it's going to be a slow process. We'll see how it goes. Javi making any progress on them space wolves?
Oh, that's right, that's right. I'm sorry. You had that and what, car trouble? Like back to back or something? Yeah, that sucks, man. Is that all it was, though? Was it just the battery? They are, um... And if I do... When I get around to doing Dark Angels, these are for my Ultramarines. Um, I believe me, Jason. I thought about it. I, I thought about just taking these dudes and just merging them right on over and making Dark Angels. But I do feel like to stay true, at least a degree, to some of the fluff, I gotta have old school dudes too. Like you know, because if I'm gonna paint Fallen guys, you know what I mean. Um, even if I paint some Dark Angels to go with them and like try and make some stupid fluff reason behind some unification, whatever the fuck I come up with, you know, even if I do that, um, until they come up with a reason that the Fallen would have Primaris armor, you know, like, I don't want to do that yet, you know, so, um, and also, you know, if I really wanted to do it, I might be able to find someone to split a Dark Imperium box and use that specifically for Dark Angels, you know, so we'll see. Well, that's good, Java, that's good. And yeah, Jason, I saw the, um, I read the, uh, the little stratagem where they get, like, plus one to plasma damage or something, and then, like, if they don't move, they reroll ones, I think, or something like that. Your, your version of chapter tactics, if I recall, your tech, master tactician thing, they sound like they're gonna be really good, um, and I'm not sure which section of the Dark Angels I specifically would be interested in building outside of the Fallen stuff, um, because I'm not a huge biker dude, so I'd have to kind of find somewhere in the fluff that has things that I do lean towards. You know? I've always liked having lots of infantry to move around. Um, you can get that book or that, uh, that box set discounted online, usually 15 to 20%. Um, and that's just st even, even discounted, even not discounted. It's a good deal. I mean, they are snapped together, but like if somebody wants to buy a bloat drone or blight drone or whatever it is, and they're going to build it the way that it is in the dark Imperium box, they're going to spend 50 bucks on it. That's one third of the box. You know, so what people do is they'll buy Dark Imperium and they'll sp split it out. So, like, I split mine with Bob. I kept the rule book. He took the uh, uh, Death Guard and we worked out a price that was amicable for both of us. Um, if you and a buddy both buy Dark Imperium, you just each get your book and then you swap the models from, you know, your faction to their faction or, or whatever. You know, you swap off. Um, or... You buy it, you split it, and then you sell the rule book on eBay because it's a hardback rule book, and people will buy it. People that didn't want the Dark Imperium box will buy that rule book, and you just discount it. So you can really make your, you know, um, make it worth your time to invest in that, even if you need to piecemeal it out, because it'll sell, you know. And the uh, 
The Marines aren't, uh, they don't have specific iconography, so they're usable by any Marine faction that's allowed to use them. Um, you know, so it's, it's really good. You know, it's, it's better than Dark Vengeance was, because, you know, I have to shit on the Dark Angels here, but Dark Vengeance was a Dark Angel versus Chaos, uh, box, and if you weren't playing Dark Angels, what's the point of buying that box, you know? So, they, the old Assault on Black Reach and this box are really good because they're generic Marines that you can slap any decal you want on there versus Dark Vengeance where if you wanted to make them non-Dark uh, Angels you really had to shave off iconography which was annoying. <clears throat> My two cents anyway. And yeah, uh, Jason, I didn't get around to getting you a... Um, a quote on Samuel. I did see it, and I, just, I didn't get around to it. Um, we need to talk the about glory that guy. Of the Imperium. Hey, uh, Caution Reptiles, thank you for the donation, buddy. I appreciate it. Every little bit helps. Making progress towards the camera, and is this thing clogged? And you're make or you got some uh, some credits there, I believe. You should have. You can use those for future uh, giveaways. Yep. Caution reptiles. Whoops. Yep. You know, let me do a quick refresh here. Because it's a different day. Let's hit that little refresh button. <clears throat> I think top donation will probably be updating here in a second here. Let's see if it's got you on there. It is, yeah, it's taken a moment to update Top Dono, because it's supposed to show Top Nation each session. And it is taken a moment to refresh that, so. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I just read your, um, yeah, so hang on, Top Dono is taken over. Uh, Dilgart, what's up, buddy? Hey, hey. Uh, Caution Reptiles, I just read your, uh, donation comment and Streamlabs. Dude, thank you. Uh, I appreciate it. I'm glad you're enjoying hanging out. Let's play pinball. I really do appreciate that. I don't know why it's not showing. You, you should be up there. What is, what is going on? Nice, Dilgart. If you're in the uh, the Discord, you're welcome to throw an image up and show us what you're working on. That would be cool. And yeah, Jason, um, are you planning to have me paint Dark Angels, or is this like a one-off for now? What are your, what are your thoughts? Well, once you uh, once you get around to getting them assembled and uh, start working, you're welcome to share them, dude. I always like seeing cool stuff, and I also like seeing other people working on things. It's I, I say this in the stream all the time, but I, I like to bring it up. It's a vicarious thing. So like when I see other people painting and modeling and gaming, like it makes me feel good, and I almost feel like I'm like there, you know, not not like some weird stalker way. Uh, but it's, it's nice to see other people getting enjoyment out of the hobby, you know. It's seeing that passion that I had when I first started and other people is just, it's so refreshing, you know. It gets me pumped. And I like it.
looks like one of these is an intercessor and the other one's a hell blaster because I'm a derp derp yeah image gear is fine just let me know before you uh you share it so I can give you permits um we've also got a Facebook group too if you do that it's one of those like pick your poison type things but trying to grow a community so always always uh, putting out the option for discord in the Facebook group get people involved and we're definitely like fluff and hobby driven not like crazy OP cheeseless you know and good luck with that Java good luck with that Yep, yep, that's exactly how I am too. It's the kind of community I'm trying to help foster because there's there's too many people that play uber cheesy bullshit and they don't care about the fluff. Like, and I, I'm fine if you're good at the game, but like, know that what makes this game good, in my opinion, is the the IP itself. Like, the 40k rules aren't selling models, you know. I mean, they might if the models have good rules. There is that, but like, if all the models look like butt, you know, people wouldn't play the game. And, you know, that's why I like the narrative, because there's a reason that these guys look the way they do, and they function, you know, so. That's what I like. Alright, uh, Jason, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about them. And yeah, uh, Dilgart uh, Java doesn't talk too often in Discord, but he does share images and hang out and listen and do whatever. So it is much dis or Discord's much more than just a, a you know voice chatting tool. I'm I'm very impressed with what Discord is, especially for being a free thing. It is silly good. Like gone are the days of um, Teamspeak and uh, Ventrilo, in my opinion. Like they're in trouble because you pay for those. And this for being a free service is freaking awesome. High praise to them. The question is, how do I want to pose this little bro? I like that, maybe. I'm not sure. Let's look at what other poses I got over here. That one's kind of looking down, so let's just have him looking more like straight ahead here. Yeah. Yeah, see, I do, uh, I like Discord because for me, sharing, like, I can permit users and, you know, it, it takes time because I'm trying to keep my uh, my channel you know, like spam free so I do the whole permit thing to let people share links when they ask um, so with discord if they share it in discord you know a moderator can just right click the image and share a picture and that's really fast so that's why I like it in addition to you know people being able to communicate and share But yeah, I have a, a bad, bad habit of somehow always finding trolls on the internet, so I don't have my thing, my links just open on the, the Twitch, because I'm pretty sure I'd be, it'd be, I'd be the guy that got unlucky and I'd have that one troll every once in a while to come in and just post stupid shit, you know? So, staying ahead of everything on that.
Hellblasters do look cool. Nice man, well, you're welcome to share photos too if you like, because that, that's that's definitely a different aspect of hobby painting. That's not something I typically do, ever. <laughs> I haven't worked on any model cars since I was a kid, and even then I was terrible at it. I think what gets me motivated with like minis games is you can directly play with them and then like they, you know, have them look cool on the table too with um, with that type of uh, a miniature or you know model um, like being clean is a big deal on 40k you can kind of get away with oops messed up a little bit okay let's just make them look battle worn you know you can do that <laughs> if you're trying to paint a show car mini and you're like oops screwed up well time to fix it bro you know Let's see what Kasha Reptile's got here. Looking pretty cool, man. Let's put that up. And that's why I like Discord, because it's quick and easy. Alright. Now, let's see. Which bases would look good? I'm not a big fan of those two. I really do like that one. It's a cool looking base. Yeah, let's do that on that guy. We don't have to be heavily blue, just a little dibble dibble, just a little dibble dibble. There we go, there we go. Because we're just going to snap these off later. And paint the bases. So. So that's the base we got going on. Nice, man. It'll definitely keep us posted, dude. I like seeing them. I like seeing them. Yep, so. One of the base toppers. Hmm. 
I like that being kind of the focal point. <clears throat> but he doesn't mount up quite as well. <clears throat> What's up, Bailey? Not much. What you working on there? Um, started early like we talked about. Probably you had suggested. Figured I'd get a little assembly done before we get into the tutorial. Thing. Those yours? So get some. Uh, yeah, these are some of my dark Imperium stuff. Nice. That never got finished. Nice. English is hard. English is hard. Did I already build all the Hellblasters? How many Hellblasters are supposed to be in this box? I did. <laughs> I did already have all of them built except for that one guy. Well then, there you go. I also have other cool goodness here, guys, like for my personal models to paint at some point. Got good old G Man. G Man. play against uh, someone else playing Dark Angels and I'm playing Ultramarines. Here's my <clears throat> Ultramarine with Dark Angel shit on him. So there you go. There's a character that can use the uh, Hunt for the Fallen strategy mode. You see that, Jason? This is the guy. They're going to mark him. Because they're going to be like, why is there a guy with robes hanging out with the Ultramarines? He must know the way of us the Fallen. To be honest, it's very tempting to, like... Picked him up as a follow because he looks so fucking cool. But whatever. Whatever. Good excuse if I get another box at some point to uh, practice more green stuff work. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep, this was me. Uh, and I'm not very good with green stuff, to be honest with you. Um, now, that head is from a Dark Angels upgrade sprue. I mean, yeah, I did the green stuff, yep. Yeah. I basically covered his whole torso with it, um, did the ripples and all that and the wrinkly things. I'm really bad at um, green stuff, but I and this took me like two hours. But um, yep, it was green stuff and lube. I used uh, I used Badger um, needle juice just because I had it laying here. But yeah, uh, it's gonna sound slightly weird or maybe even kinky, but use um, water-based sex lube basically. Um, because it'll clean off easy and you can use it with your green stuff and it'll help you mold it the way you want without it sticking to all your tools and your fingers. Yep. But anyway, this is my first time doing green stuff in a long time um, and I thought it turned out pretty good. So in the event I do get another like Dark Imperium box to, to do Dark Angels with, probably try and take some time and uh, do some green stuff on them. We'll see. That's going to be a ways out. All this is speculative because, you know, finances. So we can zoom out here, huh? We can zoom on out. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> Oops, be right back. All right, man. <laughs> yeah, I forget where I saw where they talked about it, but it might have been a guy on Facebook that was doing green stuff and was talking about using uh, water-based lube and I was like hmm it's a good idea and it is because it it comes off easy cleans and everything yep he wasn't wrong
This is where our conversation is going. You never know what's going to happen in your, sh your Twitch chat. <laughs> And I don't know if this needle juice is actually water based. Um, Yeah, it doesn't say anything about being water-based, I'm not sure. But it is what I used. Now I've got blue on my fingers. Really? Hmm. Well, there you go. Only part of what I read on it was legible. Um, did you go to their website or did you just look at the, the package on it? Interesting. Well, there you go. That leg mold line or spot is really bad on this guy. Really bad.
Uh, my fiance does not paint. No. Uh, she has done some oil painting, but she's not into miniatures. Um, she painted a model for Dead Zone when I taught her to do some airbrush stuff, but it's not her cup of tea. So, yeah, she's offered to play with me because um, I complain a lot about not getting to play very often, and she's like, "You can play with me, and you can stop me," and I'm like, "No, it's okay. Like, I know you're not into this stuff, you know." So she offers to be nice, but I don't make her do it because I know she's not gonna enjoy it. So. I lean towards doing things with it that are mutual. Now, if she was on the fence and she wasn't quite sure, then yeah, we try it out. But I know her personality by now that uh, she's not into this kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, good job, Bailey. Clan Wolf died about a million times uh, last time. I think he was 0 and 6 before he finally lived. And Javasuko was giving him credits, and I think Bailey gave him credits, maybe. I know Java did. Um, Keenar might have. Um, yeah. It was pretty bad. He had some pretty bad luck that day.
Yeah, I think I added some more audio books too. What did I add to this? Yeah, I got it. Heretics! <laughs> oh, the little Dawn of War things cracked me up. They crack me up. I love them. I've got, I've got to go through the little uh, soundboard that I've got and pull out the rest of the ones that I like. Um, I've got them incorporated with Streamlabs, so when people like um, donate certain amounts or host with certain amounts, you know, bits, whatever, it pops up, plays different sounds, and you know, keep it a very 40k-ish. But I think it's funny. Squad morale restored. Hey, Justin. <laughs> Justice King, thank you for the follow, buddy. I appreciate it. You're king now. Uh, well, if somebody made that account to troll, then sure, I guess so. <laughs> That's funny. Though I doubt that was the case. And welcome back, Bob. HR director. How is this thing always freaking clogged? It's about time to get a new bottle of super glue. I just need to put this in first. Where's his, where's his torso? Dagnab it. Where did I put it? Well, that explains that. Yeah. That's true. So I highly doubt it's anyone that did that on purpose, but if they did, that's funny. Javi, you did a pretty good job most of the time trolling. Most of the time. And of course, 
There's a spot I missed on there. Good clean there. <sighs> Can't have that hanging down in there. That's the way they've got it. It might look cooler if he's holding it like that. Let's get the backpack on first. from the top. Let's snip this peg and hope it lines up. Which direction do I like this in? What? To the left. Oh, yeah, I think I like it straight up in the air. It's like, go forward! He looks very angry. He is a he is an angry sergeant, sir. <sighs> Who now has plastic shavings on his eyeballs? this one. Just a little dibble dibble of the glue, that's all we need. Just a little dibble, little dibble.
Well, the intercessors are officially assembled. Just the jumpy dudes, the jump pew guys, whatever those things are called, which I should know, but don't, because you know, stuff. Let's check this out really fast, really fast. Nice. Are you happy with them? I hope you're happy with them. If not, I can't do much about it, but I hope you are indeed happy with those. I actually think I have a couple more Primaris dudes from the Snap Together box I need to wrangle. I'm going to have to count my intercessors and see how many I actually have. Which we can do real quick. Yes, we got uh, Ancient, Gravitus, Lieutenant. It's got what, two Lieutenants in here? And one Ancient, I think. So we got Hellblasters, five. Look at those five little bro bros. I believe this guy is a this is a lieutenant, right? That's the lieutenant. This is the sergeant, I think. They look very similar. I'm pretty sure that's the LT. All right, so two lieutenants. You got your you are rocking back, so you lean with it, rock with it. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's on the forty mil. So yeah. All right. So we got that, and we got it's a two, four. Six, eight, ten intercessors. So that means those other three. Uh, were they broken or two layers? If they're broken, I'm 100% positive Austin will replace them. If they're in two layers, then yeah, uh, that's that's how a lot of these are to get that depth. Yeah. Let me wheel myself over here real quick. Is that not the same guy? No, he is slightly different. Yeah, so I've got, <clears throat> I've got this little thing, but I think the Intercessor squads are in a unit of five. I'm not sure what I would need with uh, three more singles. Um, I've got enough over there to make a five-man unit. I do kind of like that guy. He looks cool. I'm gonna have to double up on this one. I'm not sure if I really care that much to get that many more. Hmm. Oh, look. Well, Javasuko, I always like shit, man. Shit is the shit. That is for sure. True story. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. I didn't realize that I forgot until it got there. <laughs> um, 
This guy's yours too. You want me to sign this one? Because I forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. But uh, th this one is yours too. Now this one's got a little rock here. I could actually like sign the rock. I could put like JH on the rock. Just do it. Or like back here under his foot, like JH, oh, you know, one seven. Really kind of cool. I just get a big sharpie right on his cape. Justin was here like an orc. But yeah, yeah, I'll figure something out, like that. And I've got to, uh, I've got to package this up for Bailey and try and get that out tomorrow. Let's actually see what happens when I pull that tape off. I know there was glue down here. That would be cured by now. It's been like two weeks. Yep, sure it is. Nice. Anyway. Yep. For the Bailey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, it'll, it, I'll sign the base, uh, or the, the rock part. I won't sign the cape, because I'm not going to ruin a paint job just to be trolly. I, I, just, my, I couldn't do it. It would stab me, like, ugh, right in the heart. So, anyway, uh, Snake, awesome. Uh, what, what kind of paint scheme, man? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's hear what you're planning to go with, man. Trolley McSmashy the first. Or Trollo McSmashy the first, rather. Trollo McSmashy! Ooh, nice! That ought to be good. All right, so guys, uh, we got about 30 minutes before I need to get rolling on this. Um, I'm going to take a quick AFK and get prepped, grab my stuff, and if there's still time left, which there should be, I might snip and clean some stuff before we start. So um, I'm going to grab, or I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick, dump the AFK thing. Uh, if Bailey or Bob are in Discord, they will still hear you. Um, and they'll be able to chat, but I'll put up the AFK screen, and I'll be back in just a couple minutes.
Javasuko. Um, <clears throat> I have used this stuff before. Uh, it's a little bit expensive. <laughs> it's really expensive. Um, I like it, but it's not the easiest thing to use, to be honest with you. And um, you can't uh, really apply it with a good paintbrush. Um, Anyway, um, yeah, it'll it'll ruin a paintbrush, so you got to use a poo poo kachu paintbrush with it. Um, but it works good; it dries clear. Um, the problem you're probably gonna have is getting it back off uh, without tearing the paint up. The masking itself won't tear the paint up, but you need something to pinch it with to get it going. And often, when you try and peel up the edge, you kind of scratch the paint trying to get that, so that's a problem. Um, I think Lester Bursley used it and then on top he put some kind of mold maker stuff so that it really helped peel it off. Um, I haven't bought that because, you know, monies and stuff and I don't find myself masking that way a whole lot, but um, that is uh, what I had seen. Um, I didn't not like it, it's just not something I use very often. I find Silly Putty to be a little bit more, a little bit, excuse me, easier to work with. Uh, personally, anyway. So I was glancing at the rules for these little pew pew shooty guys, the uh, uh, Inceptors, you have the Intercessors and the Inceptors. I am not a huge fan of these models. Um, they are not my favorites. Uh, I would rather have the, I've already forgotten the name, um, the shooty guys that look like these. They have the dual guns. Um, those are better. It's Dr. Pepper, man. Like I said I'm trying to tone down on energy drinks, so soda is still a thing. And I've got a water bottle here with me as well, so. Yeah. But yeah, I think the reason I don't like these is they kind of look derpy, personally, and, you know, the plasma ones are probably okay. I'm not sure how efficient the uh, these guys are with the Ultramarines chapter tactics. I mean, we can already fall back and shoot. Um, I mean, I guess these guys do that better, but they don't even need the chapter tactics really to do it now because they fly. Excuse me. I guess the plus one to leadership's good, but I think that these guys personally, personal opinion, will get a little bit more bang for their buck with a different chapter tactic versus Ultramarines, in my opinion. For what that is worth, for the peanut gallery who is hanging out with me today, yes. No fits by peanut gallery, I'm just kind of giving you some shit. When in doubt, give Java shit. That's what you do. What up, Core Hall? What up, buddy? I'm currently, uh, I started early today, so I'm currently like assembling some models and, and hanging out. Let's see. finger my damn phone anyways core hall um, currently working on some assembly started a little bit early today uh, the tutorial thing will happen shortly uh, it's gonna be a uh, probably on the shorter end one and holiday inspired so it's not gonna be 40k but it's gonna be from a company that makes third-party miniatures that look really good on the tabletop uh, a few years ago I ordered some of their minis and uh, it was around the holidays and they sent me some 
promo resin minis and they are holiday inspired well at least one of them the other one i think they claimed was an elf he doesn't very, he doesn't look a lot like he's holiday inspired um but the uh the christmas uh, inspired one was really cool and i figured paint them up live answer some questions interact with you guys and give them away and then afterwards assuming it runs a little bit shorter on time than what my normal tutorial days go uh, i may work on some personal models we'll see with that being said, how are you doing, man? What's up on the core hall's end? Yep, I feel you on that. You should be proud of me. I haven't had an energy drink since Thursday. Soda, on the other hand, I have had, but, you know, at this point, at least it's a transition. I'm still getting some sugar and caffeine, but not all the other stuff. And, you know, get that out and then try and tone down the sodas a little bit and see where we go. But you should be proud of me, sir. <laughs> yeah, and that's, I mean... Yeah, I mean, I'm not, like, going through withdrawals or freaking out, to be honest. Um, I think it's just something I was used to doing. But, I mean, I was drinking two a day. And cold turkey did like you suggested. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is adventure time. Let's start off the stream with a good adventure. Come join the adventure and earn some free points. If you risk points and you die, you will lose them. So it is like gambling. Except you didn't use real money. Except you didn't use real money, and we at Amp Services do not encourage anyone to do anything illegal. This is not illegal. <laughs> and don't take any advice from uh, Clan Wolf, because he does not have a good track record with the uh, adventure system. Next big giveaway, I'm going to give away the stuff today too. Not the Marines I'm working on, peeps. <laughs> um, but at the end of the month, the next big one will be Mortarian. So at some point you guys will probably see me assembling him on stream as well. Get him prepped. Ready to go. I did get the uh, Eldar stuff, and at some point today, I'll probably start working on assembling them. I don't know if it'll be during your stream or not. Well, Bob, where's your where's your dedication to the Eldars? Well, you know, I like them. They play the way I like, so. They'll play better if you actually have models built. It's a true story. True. But, since I'm actually spending some time with my wife today, that may get put on hold. Well, I can't fault you for that. I get a little bit of shit for texting. Oh my god, stream, really? Did you die? Oh, bear traps, yeah. Java, if you'll remind me when I get off the stream, I will, uh, I'll give you the format. Hey, uh, hey, Justin. What's up? I think Java wants you to send him the format for the adventure things. I think he does.
I mean, Core Hall, I guess you could play with the boxes if, you know, your opponent's cool with it, you know. Yeah, speaking of that, I was I had to I had to jab at somebody on Facebook uh, a day or two ago. They were talking about what our opinions were on 3D printed Warhammer 40k, and I was like, I just I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna share a picture, and I shared. I did say something, but uh, it was because of the picture. I shared a picture of green army men from Google, a little box of them, and I said, look, it's my new starter box. Dot dot dot. That's all I said. Cause it's the same damn thing. I mean, I'm okay with a, a proxy or two or a cool conversion, but 3D print your army, paper craft, get the fuck out of here with that. It's stupid. And it's it's akin to downloading MP3s. You know, people have done it, I get it. But if the people that produce whatever medium of entertainment that you like don't make money and you don't support them, they will eventually stop making it. Now GW is not gonna go anywhere if one person 3D prints their shit. But if they keep doing it and everyone keeps doing it and then the China cast keeps happening. If that keeps happening, you know, what happens if the company stops making the game or they're like, fuck it, we're done, then it hurts everyone. So I, I understand why people do it. I understand the pricing, but it's kind of like supporting your, your local store when you can. Like, I get it. They can't discount as much as online stores, but if you don't spend money there, they can't keep the doors open and they have an overhead. Very, It's very different than a big store who deals in lots of volume, you know, so... If you like what a game company or a store does, you got to support them. No? Uh, one thing I would caveat to AMP services is uh, if you are going to proxy a model to test to see if you really want the thing before you spend $100 like on a Wraith Knight or whatever dreadnought thingamabob that the Space Smurfs have. If you want to proxy it and you want to just put the base down, me as a player, I'm cool if you put the base on the table and say, hey, this is what this model is before I spend X amount of dollars on it. And I don't know of any player that would really have a real issue with that unless you're going to a tournament, but there's probably people you can borrow the models from too if you want to test them out first. Yeah, and you're and you're not going to test them at a tournament, you know what I mean? Like That I don't mind either. Like So I may sound like I'm pretty strict on the proxy thing. I'm really pretty lenient. Um, the big issue is, is if you're proxying, why are you proxying? Is it is it because you have a cool model from a third party company? You know, I'm generally cool with that. But are you proxying your green toy soldiers? Now, the, the second thing that I consider is, like Bob said, are you proxying because you want to test it before you buy it? And are you, you know, going to eventually buy it? So, case in point, when I first started 40K, we had a lot of Space Marine players, still have a lot of Space Marine players at the local shop. And, you know, drop pods are 35, 40 bucks a pop or whatever. And when we started, you know, we were using spray cans to count as drop pods. But, you know, every month, like, okay, you know, X player's using four spray cans. Next month, they're using three. And they got a real drop pod. So they were slowly adding real models in. That doesn't bother me. I understand. I think the problem comes in when people 3D print or um, do the paper craft proxies. Or proxies with no intent of actually, like, getting into the game seriously. And it diminishes... Um, the game experience for other players and also hurts the company now 3d you know or 3d but um, third-party you know uh, uh, model makers can have an impact on the company but I think generally what you're buying from them while it may be a proxy you really like the sculpt I don't you know and a lot of these third-party companies the models aren't that much cheaper so it's not like you're buying them to save money you just happen to like the way the model looks that's very different than going to Walmart buying a bag of you know green soldiers and yeah, um, Java Suko, 3D printing terrain and stuff makes sense too, but there's a difference between 3D printing terrain and 3D printing, you know, a space marine, you know, that you never intend to buy. Well, Core Hall, I don't, I actually don't play with people that uh, spend obscene amounts of time uh, painting, um, but, you know, put it in perspective uh college students play a lot of video games too you know they get these 65 dollars video games you know a pop or whatever the same argument i used i think still holds holds weight there um regardless of how much the entry level is because you can start 40k on the cheap and slowly build up but if if every you know 16 to 24 year old college student bootlegged their video games 
you know these these game companies are going to start to notice you know and that hurts them so you know yeah you could proxy um and never intend to buy the models you could do that but if everybody did that the game would go under you know what i mean so i get it i understand the finances uh, around it but when i started i was in college and i started small you know like i think that's the issue with 40k is the initial investment is high and I think the problem with that is, is you got a lot of people who've been playing 40k for a long time, and when someone new gets in, they want them to go from zero to you know 100 in one day, versus like, hey man, you got 500 points, let's play 500 points for a month. Next month you spend 50 bucks buy another box of stuff. Let's play 700 points now. You know, like go slow. You got dudes who've been in the game for 10, 20 years, whatever. They got all these models they want to play with, and they get so excited there's a new player, and they want the new player to invest too much too fast. And that's a problem. Um, I personally think for like a college student, splitting Dark Imperium with your roommate, 50-50, that's a really good way to get in, really good way to learn, and it's it's a lot better than fake models, um, in my opinion. But I think that's why, while I'm rambling here, I think that's why uh, Games Workshop has put out Shade Spire, uh, maybe to an extent Necromundo. I think it's why X-Wing's popular. I think it's why Infinity's popular. I think it's why Privateer Press just put out Company of Iron because it's a smaller scale game. And uh, I think a lot of these companies are going towards the smaller, I guess what they call it, skirmish games. Um, because they are cheaper to get into and the games are faster. So like a college student looking at... Uh, um, well, yeah, well, see, Wheels has spent a lot of money, Job, and Nathan has done a lot of trading... He bought a little bit as he went. He split boxes with people. Like, Nathan went at it from an economical standpoint. Wheels went at it from a, I'm just going to buy big chunks every time I want. You know, that's different. Um, to go back on my little rant there, I think the uh, the real allure right now for gamers is, you know, don't have a lot of money, whatever. You get into these small-scale games uh, that are cheap to get into. X-Wing's pre-painted. Um, Shade Spire you can get into for, like, 60 bucks. Necromunda, you can get your crew for like 60 bucks, I think, or whatever. Infinity, um, probably similar price point, maybe a little bit more because you need like, I think, 10 to 15 minis or something. Malifaux, probably less than 100 bucks. Um, War Machines, um, um, oh, what the hell is it called? Uh, Company of Iron, you know, you need like equivalent of 25 power for War Machine, which is like a caster and, you know, an infantry box and one other thing or something. It's really not that bad. Um, and I think that they're noticing that those types of small scale games are really becoming popular because uh, of the price point and they're fast like you can play a lot of those games in like a really quick amount of time 40k is like you know it's it's equivalent of Monopoly in terms of time when you sit down and play 40k you know you're gonna spend a couple of hours at least you know so I, I think there's you know a variety of of things that are driving some of this stuff if that makes any sense and when I started I mean I'm I still don't have a lot of money I'm sitting here trying to start my dark angels and I'm like well if anybody wants to help me grow this and I'm not just trying to like put my hand out for you know help because I don't need the army but it's one of those even I can't just go around and be like oh, I'm gonna go buy an army today you know it's gonna be a very slow process even if I fund the whole thing for myself it's gonna be a little bit here and there most likely you know, unless somebody like Wheels comes in and goes, Here's a full army, cook! <laughs> not saying he's dumb because he's not, but, you know, if he did that, I'd probably get like a message like, Troll, -la 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 -la, go get your Dark Angels ready and come over. So, you know, it's unlikely. It's... Point is, while I'm rambling, is that some of this you have to kind of go slow. And I'm sure I'll proxy at some point. There's going to be something for Dark Angels I want to try before I buy it because, I, you know, money is limited. But. I'm not going to come in here with my damn Dr. Pepper can and use that as a dreadnought for, you know, a year. You know what I mean? Or indefinitely. What's up, Lazy Doug? What up, buddy? You caught me in the middle of my rear, like, I'm going to say weird, my, my rant that I kind of just kind of started just drifting on. You get me going, I don't shut up. Then when I do shut up, it gets all quiet in the chat. And we're like, what's going on? Is his mic broken? Is he hyper-focused? He can't be hyper-focused. What he's working on doesn't require that much focus. A monkey could do it. What's going on? Yeah. I thought I was going to get this Inceptor built before we need to start the tutorial, but I might have to put him down. 
<laughs> What's up, man? Yeah, Core Hall, that's exactly what I would have to do. Um, I'm very limited on who I can play with here, and I'm very picky. So then I would end up having to drive, and the next nearest town, I don't care for their play group, which that puts me into driving, you know, one and a half to two hours. So I'm right there with you, man. Now, when I get quiet, it's usually because chat's quiet, and I'm not sure what to ramble about. Or I'm hyper focused and I you know forget to look up because I'm like oh I gotta get this spot done I want to do it I want to do it and then I stop paying attention. What's up, Dougie Doug? How you doing, man? I saw you sneak in there. Uh, Doug, you may or may not approve. If not, we'll uh, we can adjust it. But you got a custom rank in the chat now. I had, considering I gave one to Wheels for all his help, contribution, and badassery, it only made sense I hooked you up too. I couldn't do God amongst mortals again because I mean, can't can't have two of that one. But considering the last stream I did, I <laughs> I stole some inspiration for your rank. You're welcome, man. I think we're gonna start the tutorial a couple minutes late. Uh, I'd rather not have all these bits flopping around in a box. I'd rather get them glued and drop them in. So forgive me, folks, for wasting a couple minutes of your tutorial Tuesday time. The start of our tutorial will be a topic about time management. Learn to be on time and not do stuff you shouldn't be doing before you go to work. It won't take long because we're almost done cleaning this model, so. Is it is it messed up? Hang on. Give me a second. It, Streamlabs has been giving me some shit 